we are going to start the new topic mastering link in ui path in this series we are going to learn from basic to advanced and this is very important for your professional exam this is one of the area which we have to cover link in ui path in this video we are going to go through the introduction to link in case you have no knowledge what is link how it is used where to start all these things we are going to cover next thing we are going to cover the benefits of link why you have to use link we are going to discuss that third link syntax and styles as i promised we are going to start from very basic example we will first see there are two kinds of syntaxes in link one is your method syntax we are going to see the demo from the basics and the second one is the query syntax that also we are going to see a demo and then we are going to compare and understand how the method syntax appears in link and how the query syntax appears in link and what is the difference so overall you are going to learn everything from basics so why delay let's get started here in the introduction now link stands for language integrated query this is a ground breaking feature which was introduced by microsoft in the year 2007 this happened when microsoft released the dotnet framework 3.5 from there the link has got its popularity link enables developers to formulate queries to retrieve and manipulate data directly within their code this is very interesting why link is very popular because of the ability to write a complex code in just couple of lines you are going to see in the demo third interesting point about link using link you can query data from different sources for example sql database xaml documents xml documents ado.net or active data object ado means active data objects for dotnet or any collection of objects for example any collection for example if i say uh, a collection of data or a table wherever you have a collection we start using link i am going to show you how powerful link is now as you have got bit of understanding around link what is link when it was introduced in couple of powers but again let me summarize some of the great benefits of link using link you don't have to code so much less coding and you can achieve the same complex task with less coding for example multiple nested loops are replaced with a more compact form you are going to slowly learn about them second benefit it simplifies complex data operations instead of using many ui path activities for example if i ask you you want to you know there is a excel data you need to filter order the data and find me a specific insights from that data now for that you will be using so many activities in ui path to achieve that end goal with link in place you can write a one line and get the data that is the simplification it can do to your complex data manipulation okay simplifies complex data operations third important point reduce development time link is much faster to write complex codes all these things you are going to see a demo fourth point link can be used to query multiple data sources with the same syntax fifth important point shaping data you can retrieve data in different shapes okay these are the couple of benefits we have seen now let's talk about certain link syntaxes okay all this with example you are going to see now for the time being understand there are two syntax types through which you can write a link query the first one is known as method syntax and the second one is known as query syntax now the moment you hear such terms 
it is always a good practice to see a demo in UiPath. How you are going to use it in UiPath? I'm going to show a demo for both of the syntaxes, method syntax and query syntax. Once we see them, we will try to compare and understand the differences. So let's move on to our UiPath Studio. We will start with very basics. In UiPath Studio, the very first step is go to imports. If you have to work with link query, then you have to import a namespace called system.link. So you need to, so you can see system.link, link.expressions, link expression interpreter. You can add all the three namespaces. Okay, system.link, link expressions, link expression interpreter. So I've already added them into my namespace. So once you have imported this namespace, next you should see how the link queries are written. Now in this, what I have done, I have taken a simple assign activity. In the assign activity, I have got a, a variable which has these values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So A is a integer array, array of integers. So you can see it is a collection, it is just a collection. Now here there is a for each loop and I want to print the current number while looping. It should square these values. For example, 1 into 1 is equal to 1, 2 into 2 is equal to 4, 3 into 3 will be 9. So the output should be the square of each number in array using method syntax in link. So let's see how it is, how it can be done. We'll start from basics. So let's click on this list of items, expand it. And here I'm going to first take the variable name which contains the collection of values. So which is A, A variable, okay dot then you write a method remember these dots are required in the method syntax this dot is important in method syntax this is a very important point dot then you write the method what is the method select is a method dot select what i want i have to get each of this number i have to loop through that number and square it now see in ui path you will be looping at one place and then squaring at one place but in link I can do both the things at the same time using something called lambda function. So I'm writing a lambda function. First, let me explain the syntax of lambda function. Then I will let you know what is a lambda function in detail. Okay. So look at it, how I'm writing function. And then I will say P. P is a variable. You can put any variable. Okay. Whatever your of your choice. This is just a variable space P into P. So what is happening in the syntax? A is an array. It contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now in that I have written a function. This function what it will do, first it is going to pick the number 1. Then it is going to send here 1 into 1, the value will be 1. Next it is going to, so this, this is called a lambda function. This is automatically repeat. So next value in the array is 2. So it is going to send 2 here, 2 into 2. So this P is a parameter. You can put any variable here. You can write A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever you like, or whatever the variable name you would like to put, you can put it here, up to you. So now just to explain you, it is going to go through this array. This function is going to collect one and then send here one into one. Then it's going to loop through the array. Then it will pick two, two into two, three, three into three. Like that, it will continue. So this is called a lambda function. This entire thing is called a lambda function. We will talk about it slightly later. Now just see what it you understood the logic how it works. A is an array, then I'm writing a dot and then I'm writing the method name called select. This is called method syntax. In method syntax, you will be using a lambda function. And the lambda function starts with the keyword function. So function is a keyword function. And here you are passing in bracket, you are passing the variable P, you can write any variable P into P. Pretty simple. Now let's look at the output, then we will understand. Now what would happen? Whatever it is, the output is going to come. The very first output will be one. So it will be sent to one, then two. So the looping and the execution, both are happening at the same time. Okay, P into P it is going to send to current number. And here in a log message, I'm simply printing the current number. If I execute this, look at it, the output, what happened? I got 1, I got 4, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4. Like that for all the 9 numbers, I got the output. 
so this is the example just now you saw is of method syntax okay so what are the properties you saw in the method syntax in method syntax you have a dot then you write the method name method name right dot select is a method dot where there will be a lot of such methods you will see i'll be proceed okay for the moment let's go with the very first method select okay so you have seen the method syntax now the same thing how do you achieve using query syntax i am going to show you so here the same thing we will achieve using query syntax now let's see how to write a query syntax let me expand this click here expand this and let's write now the query syntax is more like your sql query structured query language right sql if you have done so it start with from from then you write any variable let's say i'm writing p in the array in the collection from p in array that means it is going to loop through the collection from p in a enter and i'm writing select p into p so that means what is happening here in the syntax here it is going to loop through. the syntax is slightly different there you used to write a dot select in the method syntax in the query syntax is more like sql you are writing like this from it will always start from from and it always ends at select remember this rule starts from from ends at select and in between you can write so many other things so many other methods i'll show you later so from p in a p is a variable a is a array select p into p so now if you hit on save this is a query syntax and if you run the same thing okay same logic for each loop if i'm going to run this you will achieve the same output you can see it right it has written 1 4 9 16 25 until 64 81 okay so we achieved the same output using query syntax now what i want instead of you running the square from for all the values available in the collection i am now asking you do not do that any value which is greater than 5 you should square that means 6 7 8 9 only should square and 1 2 3 4 you should 4 5 you should not square only 6 7 8 9 these are the value output i want okay so how to achieve that let's see it first i will use the method syntax okay now earlier what is the syntax that you have developed this is the syntax right a dot select this is what you have written the code you have written i'm going to copy this code i'll go to my next uh, xaml and here the same xaml similar xaml i'm going to paste it here expand this and let's make some changes here so what is the condition here it should be the value should be greater than 5 so here what i will do a dot and i'm going to write another method called where where and inside that i am going to write this lambda function which is function you can see the syntax of the lambda function right it's pretty simple you'll write function and then put any variable you want i will say p and the p value should be greater than p should be greater than 5 okay and after that everything should be connected with a dot so i'll put a dot here now, now look at it clearly a dot where it will first pull one 1 is greater than 5 no then it will leave that then again this will run 2 3 4 5 then finally 6 will come so 6 is greater than 5 then this will pass this value 6 to the next one the connected one once so this condition will if it is true then only the value will be passed to the second chain so this is the in the chain this is the first connector this is the second connector right this is more like a chain with a dot so it will only pass when the condition is true the sixth value will be passed here so here six is coming six into six and then seven eight and nine like that the output would come this is called the method syntax now let me hit on save and if i'm going to run this you will see it is not going to run from one because of the condition it has started squaring the value from six six into six thirty six seven to seven forty nine eight and nine so we got it right so the exact output we have received with a condition so let's see it again how we have written this is how we have written a dot where function p this is the method syntax now the same thing how can i achieve in the query syntax let's see it to do that in the query syntax again the same format i am clicking on this for each loop 
what we have written in the previous query syntax how we have written let's copy that i'm going to come to the fourth xaml and here i'm going to paste it expand it okay so here we will put another condition so here in the query syntax we do not use dot we can simply write with a space okay so from p in a a and then here i am writing the clause where where clause and p should be greater than 5 so in the query syntax we don't use function the lambda function is not used here it is pretty simple from p in a where p is greater than 5 then you do p into p pretty simple query syntax now query syntax is something quite easy you know even the method syntax it's up to you which one you would like to go for right so from p in a where p is greater than 5 select p into p it is more readable right it is much more readable so i'll hit on save and let's run this now what is the output we are expecting this querying should happen from 6 so you can see 36 49 64 81 we got this output so we have seen the method syntax example and a query syntax example now let's see the basic understanding compare both the method and query syntax will compare so what happens in a method syntax we use different methods like we have seen select method we have seen where method right there are multiple such methods in a chained manner so for example a dot where then you have written the function dot select so always there is a dot and there's a lambda function used here function p this is the entire thing is a lambda function i am going to cover that in detail but now you understand a method syntax contains different methods in a chained manner one after the other okay now in a query syntax what happens query syntax is similar to sql structured query language the link query syntax starts with from in query syntax it always starts from keyword the used the the very first keyword they use is from in the query syntax and it always ends with select keyword so this example you have seen it from and select this is, starts with from ends at select this is called a query syntax now with that you can easily understand which is a method syntax and which is a query syntax a query syntax doesn't use dot a method syntax uses dot and lambda function okay so this is a lambda function now let's understand what is a lambda expression a lambda expression is a function without a name that calculates and returns a single value now if you have done programming like in python if you have done or any other programming there you would see a function you are defining with a name a function has a name but here a lambda expression is a function without a name for example this one function p greater than 5 now here we have two lambda expressions right function p greater than 5 this is one lambda expression and this is the second lambda expression so the syntax remains same here the variable might be changed you might put some other variable instead of p but again it is a lambda expression the entire thing is a lambda expression so here in this entire query we have used two lambda expressions okay where the array value was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we would like to put a condition and then multiply them so syntax of lambda expression in vb.net is slightly different so the one that you see here highlighted is a vb.net in c sharp it is written slightly in a different way you know this is how it is written parameter and then lambda expression operator parameter into parameter getting it so this is a lambda expression so overall you have seen how this expressions are written in two different formats one is the method syntax and the other one is query syntax so this is the basic start we have done now let's move on to our next topic and continue to learn lot many things inside link query